Something's going on in America, and I call America the Austin uh, area, the Travis County area right now, that is a problem that people should know about. When the Democrats tell me I should go vote for them, I look at what you do to me in the Dell Valley area, the area that it's a east, northeast, uh, southeast of, of Austin suburb, uh, the school district that, that's 90% free and reduced lunch, 85% Latino, uh, that's been ig ignored, neglected, disrespected, that the city of Austin takes money from every year from the taxpayers, over 50% of those people who go to the Dell Valley School District, they take that tax, that tax money and give it to the uh, city of Austin School District, a richer district, and no one says a word. Not one council member has ever asked the question as to why you're taking the money, giving it to Austin Independent School District and not to the Dell Valley Independent School District in an equitable fashion. And now there's a school board election. Damien Pentaho, I mean, Pen, Pento uh, has, uh, I'm sorry, I, I got the, the, the vowels messed up. Anyway, uh, Damien is a young, gay, extremely bright, caring, diligent graduate of Del Valley. Grew up in Del Valley. Family is in Del Valley. And when it was his time to step up and take the reins and do something, he did so. He volunteered himself, his time, his energies. It's not a paid position. And it's been there for over a year on the most progressive school board in, Del in, in, in Central Texas. And, and, and let me say, in all of Texas. They recently won, uh, last year won the HEB School Board of the Year for the state of Texas. And they are the reason Tesla came to Central Texas because of how progressive they were with those kids and how they care about those kids. But now there's a seat that's up for election that Damien sits in and a white boy named David Albert, who's a white supremacist. I don't give a damn what anybody says. White supremacist means I know better than you because I'm a white man and I know better than you brown people about what, what's best for you. That's what white supremacy is. He doesn't like that when I say that because he's a Democrat. He's a Democrat and he's gone to all the Democratic clubs and told them, including the, the Travis County Democratic Party, and told them they support him because he's a good Democrat. As if Damien, who sits in an elected position, is not a good Democrat, although he's always voted Democratic. And I think it's also strange that David Albert, who looks to be about 50, just started voting Democrat in 2010. At least that's what it says on his answers. He should have been voting for at least the last 30 years. Did he vote Democrat all along? But now he's decided what a good Democrat is. But more telling than the fact that this white supremacist thinks he knows best what's best for the Dell Valley School Board, which is doing better by kids of color than any other school district in Texas right now, that he brings us the answer, has gone and appealed to the Democratic clubs. And some of them, including council members who consider themselves to be progressive, have supported him. He's one of the most abrasive individuals you've ever seen in your life. When you meet him, you can't stand him on sight. And as soon as he starts speaking, you'll know it. But yet, because he said Democrat white man, the Democratic clubs have supported him. You want to know why? People of color are running from the Democratic Party. Why you can't get us to get all enthusiastic about your asses? This is specifically why we don't get enthusiastic. Greg Kassar supports him. P.O. Renteria supports him. Two 
Mexican support a white supremacist over a man that sits in the seat? A Latino, a, a young man who sits in the seat? And you call yourselves progressive, Austin? Greg Kassar can't ever grab progressive. Not that he ever was. The fact that you've been fooled by that bullshit all along. Because he's for workers' rights. He don't give a damn about workers' rights. He's a, a, a political climber, y'all. Don't get it messed up. P.O. Renteria is too damn stupid to even know that he's in an office. He does whatever he's told. Y'all know how, those, how, that, how that gets played. When you're in the back of those who are gentrifying, the back pocket of those who are gentrifying, and both of them, are, that's where they get their money from. I, I'm amazed that all of you progressives fall in line because they do something nice over here. Let me tell you how that works. If you go to someone who's been raped and tell them, I've got to vote for this person because they built a park in our neighborhood and they continually vote right on the policies that affect our community. And you talk to that rape victim and that rape victim tells you, I'm not voting for them and neither should you. They raped me. What do you tell them? What do you say to them? Guess what? That's already happening. That's been happening for years. Communities have been getting raped, beat up, gentrified, colonized, ignored. You name the, the abuse, we have suffered it. At the hands of the people you have deified. But because they did something nice one time, they fought for workers' rights, really. You give with the right hand and take with the left. And what you took with the left is more damaging than anything you ever gave with the right. The fuck does it matter if you gave somebody workers' rights out here and they are not getting enough money to be able to afford the area that you just gentrified? So the gentrifiers are supporting the white supremacists in Del Valley. As you take money out of the poor people in Del Valley out of the taxpayers pockets and give them to the school district that has the money under the guise of oh it's robin hood and we're paying too much money out every year well if you're paying too much money out why are the schools on these sides so so broken down if it's so bad you know for everybody then why are the kids still failing why are the black and brown children in austin why the why are the skills the schools getting tore up? Why are this schools doing so poorly? Why are those schools still getting messed up? And you blame it on money? It can't be blamed on money. You can't blame that on money because the money you have does okay for the kids on the west side. White kids are still doing well. Oh, and by the way, when I say white kids, white kids are still doing well in, at La, in Lhasa. Why is it no one in, in Austin ever asked that question? Oh, that's hands off. It's not a hands off when you give them almost $5 million for their programs. So if I can give you my money, why don't you ask some questions about where that money is going and why it isn't performing better? City council members, since you want to get involved in Del Valley. And I also think it's amazing that now we're having this conversation about Del Valley because Tesla's coming and he wanted to use the fact that it has to you had to manipulate the money properly. You don't think we don't know how to use our money in Del Valley? You need to come to Del Valley, David Albert, and see the most phenomenal campus in Central Texas. We know how to spend our money, and not only do we know how to spend it, we lower taxes. The only taxing entity in, in Central Texas that lowered taxes was the Del Valley School District. So all of you people who want to get involved in a conversation about what was wrong with Tesla and why they shouldn't be here and all of you who came out and, 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 and you had all kinds of words. I'm still waiting to hear from some of y'all. I'm waiting for some of y'all to say something about this race. Something that's actually going to affect Del Valley now. I haven't heard anything from a whole bunch of y'all who was out here screaming and yelling that you cared about Del Valley. If you cared about Del Valley, where you at? Why haven't you said anything? Why aren't you saying something about this race? 
and the hypocrisy of it all. Why aren't you talking about a white supremacist replacing a gay Latino young man in Del Valley sitting in the seat? Why aren't you saying anything? All of you environmentalists, oh, the environmental Democrats supported him. The environmental Democrats supported David Albert without even questioning the other, the other young man. The East, Northeast Democrats of somebody out in Manor, they supported him. Didn't ask the young man a question. You supported a white man in Dell Valley as if you have anything to do with this race. As if you have any say so about what happens in Dell Valley and you want to know why I stay pissed off at all of you. I see you. I've, I, I've been where you, I can't stand you. Because you're all full of shit. God damn it.